Hello? Yeah, Chris, you can hear me? Yeah, what's going on? What happened? I don't know, Chris. Even I was uh, like you only because uh, I have no control on what's going on. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Uh, we only have half an hour now. Okay, anyway. <laughs> fine. Okay, so. Hello? Hello? Yeah, Chris. Hello? Yeah, for yeah, tomorrow, Chris, tom tomorrow it's uh, 9 or 8.30, which one? I'm available from 8.30 itself, Chris. Uh, we'll start by 8.30 itself. I, I'll try, I'll drop a mail to them. I'll drop a mail to them. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, let me, I'll, I'll inform them. Even yesterday I'd inform them it's at 8.30 for today. I'll inform them that tomorrow is at 8.30. Okay. Why you have any problem joining at 8.30? No, 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 I, I don't have any problem. I don't, no, I don't have any problem, but I just want to make sure that if you are 8.30, 8.30 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, yes. is fine, 9 is fine, anything is fine. I just want to make sure that what time. Okay. No, tomorrow is Sunday, right? So I'm available. I'm available little early also, little late also. I'm available the whole day. Sunday is not an issue at all. Okay. okay. Uh, so yeah. We, yeah, tell me, Chris. Tell me, Chris. We, because of a lot of disconnects, you could follow what's going on. We are trying to interact with the database via a PLS skill block, writing yeah. insert, update, delete, and select statements. Yeah. But the way we wrote in, actually the same like how we wrote in SQL, but the way we write select is completely different. We read mm -hmm. something from the table into the readable. That is how we are supposed to write select in PLSQL. Okay. okay. Into, now I was so in, about in, in, into, into is always the keyword. Yes, into. Into is always the keyword. We need to read the values into variables. Yeah. Into variables. Okay, now, I, we were just talking about what, the what, Just one more thing. We should always put V. Yes, that's the Oracle, Oracle recommended practice to name variables. V underscore something. V underscore something. V underscore is, is the keyword. keyword. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, no, no, no. It's not mandatory. You can name them however you want it. But okay. most of the Oracle books, Oracle practices say V underscore something would be the way you name the variable. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Okay. But it's not mandatory. You can find them declared in different ways. I, I can say declare crash number. Yes, exactly. You can do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But crash yeah. should not be any other table. Wait, wait. Crash should not be any, any other, other table name yeah. in the database. It should okay. not be any of the tables, column names in the database. It should okay. not be any of the reserved word of Oracle, any okay. built-in function of Oracle. Okay. Yes. For, now let for, us see how does this look like. This conditional control structure. Yeah. This conditional control structure. So here's an example for that. Get the salary of a given employee. Display the message. High sal, H sal, M sal, A sal or L sal. L sal means lowest salary. A sal is average salary, M sal is mid salary, and H sal is the highest salary. So display these messages based on the salary. Okay. okay. So let let's just see how does this look like. So yeah. we need to get the salary of a given employee number. So the employee yeah. number is given. We have a variable declared to hold the salary. We give yeah. the employee number seven nine zero two. We get the salary of the employee into this variable v underscore sal. We put okay. this variable into criteria. If see the keyword is if conditional control structure, if condition, then, if condition, then we say T-H-E-N. Do this. What to do? DBMS, else is else is, E-L-S-I-S, else is condition, second condition. Then, do this. Else, the default one, if one and condition one and condition two did not satisfy, it will go to the third section, else section, else H sal. So, in this example, we display. L sal, A sal, or H sal based on the salary of the employee. Yeah. Which employee? Seven nine zero two. So seven nine zero two is earning some thirty one hundred. So it will show us. It will show us H sal as the output. Just yeah. run this example. Okay. So this is the syntax of this conditional control structure. Okay. Uh...
copy and paste and then in, okay enter successfully complete and then yes. Give, yes then give a slash you got the display the yes. salary of the employee you got h shall as displayed h shall yes because yes. the salary of this employee is 3100 it comes into h shall category yes yes that's true okay this is if conditional control structure if condition then do whatever you want else is condition then do whatever you want else is the default section what is the purpose of else if none of the criteria satisfy the given uh, if none of the conditions are satisfied control goes to the else section else yeah. is the default one at last yeah. one okay yeah. that's about if condition control structure then yeah, we have loop have you heard about loop loop yes i have yes i have about that uh, what is the purpose of a loop do the same thing again and again iteratively do something so if you okay. want to perform some task repeatedly you put them in a, you put it in a loop so okay. what will a loop do loop will iterate that many number of times loop will start with one value and go till some value and then stop okay so every time you are in the loop you will do something the purpose of loop is to iteratively do something. Okay. okay. So in yeah. PLS scale of Oracle, in PLS scale of Oracle, we have three types of loops. Mm -hmm. Getting in PLS scale of Oracle, we have three types of loops: simple loop, while loop, and for loop. Mm -hmm. Simple loop, while loop, and for loop. So what will a simple loop do? Simple loop will first get into the loop, do everything once, and then check for the condition. If the condition is satisfied, it will again take you to the loop. So you will be in the loop as long as the condition is satisfied. Okay. Then the condition, the exit when, see here, for a simple loop, how do we get into a simple loop? We simply say loop. We simply say loop keyword. We use loop keyword. Okay, dbms output put underscore line. We are declaring, uh, we have declared a variable counter whose value is 10. V underscore C is a variable whose value is 10. Okay. Now 10 is displayed. 10 is displayed. We check for the condition. 10 is decremented by 1, minus 1. 10 is decremented by 1. Okay. okay. Now we check for the condition. Exit when counter equal to 0. Exit when counter equal to 0. The moment V underscore C becomes 0, you are out of the loop. Until then you are in the loop. Until then you are in the loop. So you are in the loop 10 times. You are in the loop from 10 to 1. When the counter becomes 0, you are out of the loop. So what will this example do? This example is displaying you the numbers 10 to 1. It starts at 10, it decrements by 1, and it displays till 1. Okay, okay. Let me paste it and then see. Okay. Okay, it will display all the results. Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah. Simple. Why? Okay, yeah. Uh, see there. Exit 1, V is equal to 0, and then. Yes. If, if I don't yes. put If I don't put that, it goes on forever. Yes, it, yes, exactly. It will go for an infinite loop. If you don't put that, it will go for an infinite loop. You, you, mean, you mean the results? Yeah, the loop never ends. There is no condition given for the loop at all. So what's the result? The loop so, never ends. So the results would uh, the, be... No, there is no condition at all. Nothing is displayed. You will just be running, running and running. Okay. Okay. The, the result will be like uh, 10 to... Okay, 10 to 1, and okay. again 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Okay, oh, like okay. Mm -hmm. So if, if okay, if you, if, if you don't put the when class there, if you don't put the when class, it will just go on and on and on, on forever. Yes, exactly. Okay, excellent, okay. Yeah, I, got, I have this, yeah. Okay, this is yeah. a simple loop. Yeah, simple, simple loop, which will do everything once and then we check for the condition. So we say exit. Exit means come out of the loop when this condition is satisfied. When like this, okay. come out of the loop at that point of time. Now, yeah. the next type of loop is a while loop. What will a while loop do? While loop will 
must check for the condition. Only when the condition is satisfied, it takes you inside. See here, counter is declared and this is initialized to 1. You are checking for the condition. While counter is less than or equal to 10, loop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. While counter is less than or equal to 10, loop. Okay, yes, of course. First time, it is less than or equal to 10, you will be in yeah. the loop. You will mm -hmm. display the counter. Yeah. Second time, counter is incremented by 1. You will display the counter. So you will yeah. be displaying the counter one by one, one by one, one by one. At one point of time, counter becomes greater than 10. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that time condition is not satisfied. The moment the condition is not satisfied, you are not in the loop, you are out of the loop. Yes. While the condition is satisfied only, you get into the loop. So even this example will display you 10 values because we are iterating the loop 10 times. But it is now from 1 to 10. 1 to 10 will be displayed. Okay, because yeah. we are doing DBMS output of V underscore C. So 1 to 10 will be displayed. Okay. Can you try this? Yeah, I'm trying it. Yeah, sure. Okay, so it goes on, okay. Till 10. After yeah, 10, till you 10. will stop. Mm -hmm. You will not go beyond 10. Yeah. DB of care. Yeah. Okay, so begin this is a type of loop. There are okay. I'm just going okay, to begin while V underscore, V underscore C is less than or equal to 10 loop. No, 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 first begin. Okay. Oh, yeah, first declare, first declare, declare yeah. a variable whose yeah. is of a numeric type, initialize it to 1. There is a variable whose value is initialized to 1. Yeah. Okay, and then begin it, okay. When yeah. this, under, when, okay, while I score, while we underscore is less than 10 loop, output, we underscore C, we underscore C is, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, I got it, yeah. Now a for loop. What will the for loop do? It's also a type of a loop. It will yeah. take you from initial step, initial value to the ne next value. Okay. Uh, from where to where? If you want to go from 1 to 10, you want to iterate the loop 10 times. If you want to go from 1 to 100, you have to iterate the loop 100 times. So you decide from where to where you have to go. For i in, what is i in here? i is a for loop counter. For i in x to y. x to y. The 2, TO2 we don't write. The range we specify with two dots. The okay. for loop has a range, you know. The range is what? The minimum value to the maximum value? Okay, minimum to the maximum value, okay. Yes, so this for loop, the range is specified using two dots. Okay, so two dots is a keyword there. No, no, no. It's, it's, it indicates the range operator. It's an operator. It's a range it's operator. An, an like how we use colon equal to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How we use colon equal to as assignment operator. Two dots would be the range operator. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. So, if I do that, they will ask for the, uh, uh, X, what's X number next? What's X number? Okay. It asks for the uh, input, right? So. Yes, you will enter x, you will enter y, but see to that x is more than y. Okay. Because x is the initial value, y is the final value. Okay, okay, yeah. What? Declare. Unknown command declare. Oh, you wrote this, sorry. He, he did spelling the, uh, is wrong. My spelling yeah. itself is wrong. D C L A R E. I was I was saying it's wrong. Yeah. Yes. D C L A R E. Yes. See, we can do it in a very simple way also. Wait, wait. Yeah. I'll type one for you. You can type as I do. It's okay. very simple. You need not have declaration of variables, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a for loop example like this. How we'll have is one second. Yeah, I am typing it here. For loop counter is i. I need not be declared. Simply say begin. There is no need to have a declaration section. Begin for i in 1 to 10. 
loop end loop that's it okay what are you doing here inside okay you display i into i simply one example to show you the syntax of for loop the for loop goes like this for the loop counter in initial value to final value okay okay so again for i am 1 to 10 loop Hello? Hello? Okay, so just copy and paste that. And then backslash. Uh uh. Hello? 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 Hello. Chris, you can hear me now. now? Yes, 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 you yes. can hear me now. Yeah. I just went out and came in because you said you cannot hear me. Uh, is the for example working, Chris? No, no. It's it's saying the error at line four. 
dbms underscore output dot put underscore line i into i end loop wait wait end is missing chris i need to write an end also right end oh. end e end e end yeah, yeah, yes okay. yes and after end loop it's end end and semicolon yes that's true and and semicolon Copy and paste here, yeah, and and then and yeah, and, it will display. Oh. End loop, and then there's semicolon end. on both, on both, or there's semicolon on end both. End loop semicolon. End loop and semicolon. And end semicolon too. Yeah. Okay. And slash. Uh, line four, can count it as symbol. Line five, okay. So there should be no two semicolons, I guess. One semicolon only, one for end loop and one for end. There are okay. two different lines. Two different lines, right? Two. Yeah, it's like, okay. I did this one. I I, I am I'm pasting it here. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. I'll correct it for you. End space loop. If you are right, but there's oh. a space. And yes. and the DBMS output it is i into i. It is not one into one. You have done one into one. Oh, I did. DBMS output i into i. I into i. That's true. Sorry. Now I can uh, copy and paste and paste. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I got like one four nine sixteen. Yes, yes, that's right. No, we are trying to do that only. No square of numbers. I into okay. I. One, first one. Four, two twos are. Three threes are nine. Four fours are sixteen. Five fives twenty five. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Four in I in. One to ten loop. One i into i. And okay, I got it. yes. So this is syntax of for loop. For the variable in mm -hmm. the loop counter, which loop need not be declared. Yeah. In one initial value to final value loop. Loop. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now if you yeah. scroll down, I have one more example for you there. It's not about for loop. Yeah. It is uh, something to do with variable declaration. Let me explain this example for you. Okay. Okay. Declare begin and end is a section of is the structure of a PLSQL block. Yeah. Declare begin okay. end. Yeah. In declare section we declare variables. In begin and end we write all the statements. Mm -hmm. Inside begin and end we can have one more declare begin and end. No, we can, I don't. Okay. Well, wow, okay. Yes, we can have, and that is called as a sub block. Okay. If we write one block within another block, it is called as a sub block. Okay. Between begin and end, I am having one more declared begin and end. Mm -hmm. We can have how many other sub blocks we wanted like this. Nobody is going to stop us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The advantage is whatever variable you have declared in the outer block, it is known, it can be accessible in all the sub blocks. Okay. If a variable is declared in the outermost block, yeah. it is accessible in all the sub blocks. This okay. is the power of nesting block. Okay. Nesting PLS can block. Yeah. Now, if the variable in the inner block and the variable in the outer block is of the same data type, same data type, same mm -hmm. name, mm -hmm. then we cannot differentiate them in the sub block. Okay. Let us see this example. Let us see this example. Father's name is a variable. Mm -hmm. Name is Patrick. Date yeah. of birth is date, and there's some data there. That's the parent block, outer block. Okay. Begin. If this begin block is having one more declare begin and end. In yeah. this declare, I'm having child's name and date of birth of child, date of birth again. Yeah. 
So in this, date of birth is a variable which is present as date uh, present in both inner and outer. Yeah. So in the sub block, if you access date of birth, it is the inner variable which is going to be accessible. Okay. You cannot access the outer blocks variable if it is same name and data type as the inner blocks variable. In the inner block, in the inner block, see in the outer block you can access outer block variables. In the yeah. inner block you can access you can access inner block variables and also its outer block variables. Okay. Can, can, I repeat that, can I repeat that again, please? See, there's a parent and there's a child. Yes. Okay. Child yeah. can access all the, uh, uh, what to say, he has all the rights on the properties of the parent. Okay. If, yeah. half, if the parent owns a car, child also owns a car, yeah. in the sub block, in the child block, if you say car, whose car is going to be shown? child's car because the local yeah. block is going to get the priority and if yeah. you want to access the father's car how do you access it you have to explicitly call the car as father's car not only simply car getting okay. yeah okay yeah. you have to give a name you have to give a name for the block and access the variable of that block by its name in the sub block only then you can differentiate a variable in the sub block and a variable in the outer block yes yeah. So that is what we are trying to do in this example. In okay. this example, there are two blocks, inner block and outer block. Okay. In the inner block and in the outer block, we have a variable date of birth, which is the same data type, same same in both. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you want to access them differently, if you want to access them differently, that's not possible. No. In the sub block, in the sub block, when you say date of birth, which date of birth is going to be displayed? Child's date of birth is going to be displayed. Parent's date of birth is not going to be displayed. Mm -hmm. If you want parent's date of birth to be displayed, to be accessible separately, you have to give a label for the parent. So how do we give a name for the block? How do we label? This is not a name. This is just a label. Like this. Double uh, brackets. Like uh, greater than less than sign. XYZ yeah. is a label for the block. Your, your, your screen is off. Your screen is off. Sorry. Yes. I've asked them to make me a presenter, but nobody's around, I think. I put the first line there. You see, less than sign, two less than sign, X, Y, Z, greater than sign, two greater than sign. This is how you label a block in the file. I've given yes. one example, the last example. This is how you label the block. Okay. With this name, with this label, in the sub block, you can access the variable. How? X, Y, Z dot date of birth will be father's date of birth. Can you declare before? Can you declare before declare command? Yes, that is how we are naming the block. We are not declaring there before declare and giving a label for the block. Which block? The parent block. What is the name of the parent block? The name of the parent block is X, Y, Z. Oh, okay. I, 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 th I thought block. you can do anything before declaring anything. No, 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 no. Yeah, only you can give is a label for the block. You okay. cannot do anything. Because declare is only the beginning of the block, right? From there only your PLSQL code starts. Okay. Okay. I okay. I thought okay. Because how, how would how would even how would even SQL take the XYZ as a command if if it is not even declared it's properly? That is why you put that angle bracket, no less than greater than oh, ten. Okay, that's where okay. Okay, that's, yes, that's, that's the command. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. there. Okay. So, so what you saying is, you know, the child can be accessible. No, father can be accessible, but child cannot be accessible to the father. No, no, no. Child can never be accessible by the father, but father will be accessible by the child. But child, okay. yeah. If father, yes. If father and child both have a same property by the same name, how to differentiate? You can differentiate by labeling. That's all. Okay. Yes. You can differentiate then. This is child's car and this is father's car. How yeah. can you do that? By giving a name for father's car and accessing father's car by his name. So, so what are we doing in this in this statement here? The output line, father name. Yes. I don't understand. 
I, I don't I'm understand. father's name. Basically. Oh, okay. Father name is a text. A father name is a text, and Patrick will be displayed here. This is a variable, no? Father underscore name is a variable. You have declared it, right? Father yes. underscore name is a variable. Date yes, underscore off underscore birth is a variable. Mm -hmm. So we are displaying the values of the variables. So Patrick is date of birth. Mike is his date of birth. Will be displayed now. So we just we just okay okay. Uh... And where are we displaying all this? Very important. We are doing all this in the sub block, not in the outer block. Okay. Yeah. So in the okay in the outer block, only father's name and father's date of birth is known. In the outer block, child's name and child's mm -hmm. date of birth cannot be known. So, but but when you are when you are like executing this form, so everything come okay. Uh, child's date with some child's name. Child name, okay. Con okay. Hmm. Begin. So, no. In this example, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't differentiate. But I can't differentiate between the outer block and inner block because you are get exactly getting what you I'll want. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. One second. One second. We are starting a PLS scale block. Okay. The okay. The structure of the block is clear. Begin and end. So okay, we yeah. have a declaration information section. We have some variables declared. Begin and end is there. Okay. Yeah. Inside this begin, there is another declare begin and end. Yeah, there is. There is. So that's the sub block. That is the sub block. That is the nested block. Okay. Okay. Nested. Now, yeah. mm -hmm. nested block. I assume this is a child. This is a child block. Child can mm -hmm. access everything in this outer block. Whatever is above it, it can access. Yeah. So in the child block, I am trying to display father's name. Yes, father's name will be displayed. And in the child block, I am trying to display date of birth. Now the confusion starts. Date of birth is there both in the parent and also in the child. So when okay. you go to display date of birth, child's date of birth will be displayed and parent's date of birth cannot be displayed. So what am I trying to do to access parent's date of birth also and giving a label to the parent block as X, Y, Z. Okay. And then displaying that. How I am displaying X, Y, Z dot date underscore off underscore birth. So this is how you access a member from a particular block by the label of the block. If they are of different names, no confusion at all. The confusion is only because they are of the same name. Okay. Because for me, when I, I just I, I, I just execute right now and then. Oh. It will display everything for you. You just everything. copy paste this, give yeah. a slash. It will yeah. display Patrick and seventy two, yeah. mm -hmm. Mike and. 2002. Yes. That is what we are doing in this example. No. Okay. Uh, we are just declaring the name, the, the, just the uh, name and the date of birth. Yes. We are just displaying the name of the father, his date of birth, the so name of it, the child. Then, the then why it is complicated? I don't understand. Like, I know you are trying to make town like it's complicated, right? I'm just can it just because they have the same. Uh, uh, same uh, variables, I mean same. Uh, yes, exactly. See, okay. nested blocks are always there. You cannot stop them. One within the other will be there. Yeah. And if they are there like that, how do we access the members if they are of the same name and data type? We cannot access the members if they are of the same name and data type. So to access them, we give a label. Okay. Okay, I understand. Okay. Now, Chris, see, I'll make some change here. Yeah. Uh, instead of in, after father name, if I say date underscore of underscore birth one, then there's no confusion at all, right? Yeah. There are two. Uh, see, child's name. We have date underscore of underscore birth. Okay. So that yeah. one, this these two variables are of different names. So yeah. there's no confusion. The confusion okay. is only when they are with the same name. Okay. 
may so mean the same variable. Time, yes, the variables are of the same name, same data type. Yeah. To differentiate okay. them, we need to label them. Okay. okay. Yeah. Fine, Krish. You go through this. You yeah. practice this. We'll continue in tomorrow's yeah. session. I'll, Can you I'll update them. Yeah. Can I make sure tomorrow's that, session is up. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. I make sure that send the videos of this because I'm 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 missing few videos, right? So I just make sure. I'll drop a mail to them. Okay. Thank you. I'll so what time? What time tomorrow yeah. then? Uh, eight thirty. Eight thirty. Yes. 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 Okay. Eight uh, thirty. I S P. Do you want to make no, it? Eight thirty. I S P. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. 8.30 IST. IST. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yes, yes. Bye. Yeah. Good yes. night. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Well, I need to go now. 11, eh? Yeah, baby. I have Yeah, I made it for you. Oh. You can have it.
Thank you. 